what's it like for you to come back here for yourself as a Met and to share these moments with the fans? Well, it's awesome. Uh, it's a place where I really love when I got to play here and I had a great time. Uh, some of the best baseball of my life was played here. So uh, anytime you get to come back and revisit that stadium, you know, it's, it's an awesome feeling. I know that when I was writing the book about fathers and sons, you sent me some great pictures of you and Patrick Hello, around the baseball Hello, right field. Out. What were those days like for you to have your son around the game? They're very exciting. I mean, getting a chance to bring him to the ballpark every day, knowing how much he loved the game. Uh, kind of like bring your son to work day, you know. So uh, I was able to, to get him here and get him around some big league players, show the work ethic that they had, and he picked right up from it. And uh, he took it, took it into it himself, and he's been doing that ever since. What's the thing you're looking forward to most about today? I uh, meeting old friends, you know, meeting up with old teammates, uh, having fun, telling old stories, you know, stuff like that, and then once again stepping out on that field one more time and having fun. Your entire career, what's the moment that you cherish the most out on the field? Uh, probably uh, game six over in Atlanta uh, in the uh, in, uh, NDLS or whatever it was, and uh, coming in the first inning, pitching four innings, and giving us a chance to win that ball game, which we eventually lost, but that was pretty exciting. As a kid, do you remember any old-timers games, either going to the games or as a player being around, and one specific player that you would have loved to see at an old-timers game? No, I, I don't remember going to any. Uh, I was actually asked that. I, it would have been nice to see, like, uh, you know, some of the old great Reggie Jackson guys like that at old-timers game, just see how they did. Awesome. Thanks, Pat.